In the preceding three slides, we represented the Gibbs energy of the reactive mixture as a function of composition by an inverted bell-shaped curve, as shown here. Over the next two slides, we show why this is so, and we use the isomerization of glucose 6-phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate for the purpose of illustration. Assume the isomerization reaction has taken place for a while and already resulted in the mixture exhibiting a mole fraction of fructose 6-phosphate shown by the black vertical dashed line. At this stage of the reaction, the Gibbs energy of the mixture is given by the black dot. We can draw a straight line, shown in red, between the chemical potentials of the pure reactant and pure product. This defines the location of the red dot. On this slide, we will discuss the meaning of the red dot. On the next slide, we will see how the separation between the red and black dots relate to the change in Gibbs energy due to mixing reactants and products. If the reactive mixture was the pure reactant, corresponding to x F6P equals to zero, the reactive mixture would have a molar Gibbs energy equal to mu standard G6P. If, on the other hand, the reactive mixture was the pure product, corresponding to x F6P equal to one, the reactive mixture would have a molar Gibbs energy equal to mu standard F6P. If the reaction went to completion, the standard reaction Gibbs energy change would be mu standard F6P minus mu standard G6P, shown by the long vertical red arrow for X F6P equal to 1. So, we see qualitatively that when the reaction is only partially completed, then the change in the standard Gibbs energy is represented by the smaller red arrow extending to the red dot. We show below that the magnitude of the change represented by the small red arrow is the mole fraction of fructose 6-phosphate in the reactive mixture times delta Rg standard. Let us define the standard Gibbs energy of the reactive mixture by the mole fraction of F6P times the standard chemical potential of F6P plus the mole fraction of G6P times the chemical potential of G6P. We replace the mole fraction of G6P by 1 minus the mole fraction of F6P and rearrange the equation to yield GM standard equal the standard chemical potential of glucose 6-phosphate plus the mole fraction of fructose 6-phosphate times the difference between the standard chemical potential of fructose 6-phosphate and standard chemical potential of glucose 6-phosphate. The difference in standard chemical potentials is simply the standard Gibbs energy change for the isomerization reaction. So, we conclude that the standard molar Gibbs energy of the mixture, GM standard, is represented by the red dot. If the mole fraction of fructose 6-phosphate decreases to zero, then the arrow vanishes, and the standard molar Gibbs energy of the mixture is mu standard G6P. If the mole fraction of fructose 6-phosphate increases to 1, then the small red arrow becomes a large red arrow, and the standard molar Gibbs energy of the mixture is mu standard F6P. The red dot moves along the red line between pure G6P and pure F6P and reflects the change in the Gibbs energy of the pure components as more or less F6P and G6P are present in the mixture. On the next slide, we will be able to show that the black arrow between the black dot and the red dot accounts for the Gibbs energy of mixing between reactants and products. On the previous slide, we calculated the standard Gibbs energy of the reactive mixture, denoted by GM standard, and showed that its magnitude is obtained by drawing a straight line between the chemical potentials 
of pure reactant and pure product and reading the value of GM on the y-axis corresponding to the composition X F6P of interest. On this slide, we calculate the Gibbs energy of the reactive mixture per mole of mixture, assuming, for the sake of keeping the calculation simple, that the reactive mixture forms an ideal solution. First, we write that the molar Gibbs energy of the reactive mixture is equal to the mole fraction of F6P times the chemical potential of F6P, plus the mole fraction of G6P times the chemical potential of G6P. Then, for both F6P and G6P, we use the expression for the chemical potential of a solute in solution in terms of its standard chemical potential and its mole fraction. We obtain G for the mixture equals mole fraction of F6P times mu standard F6P plus RT natural log of the mole fraction of F6P plus mole fraction of G6P times mu standard G6P plus RT natural log of the mole fraction of G6P. Now we can rearrange this expression by first multiplying out by the respective mole fractions and second by putting together the standard chemical potentials colored in green to obtain G mixture equals X F6P times mu standard F6P plus X G6P times mu standard G6P plus X F6P times RT natural log of X F6P plus X G6P times RT natural log of X G6P. Finally, we recognize the result obtained on the preceding slide that the sum of the first two terms is equal to mu standard G6P plus X F6P times delta RG standard. We also recognize that the last two terms correspond to the Gibbs energy change upon mixing to form an ideal solution with mole fraction X F6P and X G6P. This result was obtained at the end of lecture 4. We are now in a position to fully understand the shape of the Gibbs energy curve for the reactive mixture. The black dot corresponds to the molar Gibbs energy of the reactive mixture at a stage of the reaction, when the mole fraction of the product is given by X F6P. The molar Gibbs energy for this state can be understood as the sum of three terms, shown in blue, red and black in the last equation on this slide. The first term is the standard chemical potential of the reactant, mu G6P standard. The second term, in red, accounts for the change in standard reaction free energy for the fraction of the product that has formed. The third term, in black, corresponds to the change in Gibbs energy due to the mixing of reactants and products. This is the term that really accounts for the curving shape of the Gibbs energy of the reactive mixture and leads to a minimum in the Gibbs energy curve. Hence, the existence of an equilibrium between reactants and products.